know that Liverpool has got quite a few really nice beaches. Today we are going to explore one of them. It's just behind me, New Brighton. Now when I say Liverpool, it's a little bit of a cheat because Liverpool is just opposite me over there and we're on a little peninsula called the Wirral. And to get to the Wirral from Liverpool, you can go through the Merdy Tunnel. There's two tunnels, Queensway and Kingsway. Uh, they go from, one goes from the city centre and one goes from like a little bit further up the coast. It costs two pound to drive through. And then you come out onto the Wirral. We're gonna have a little wander around New Brighton today, see what it's got to offer. I'm currently just sat in this car park here. There is a fort over there that we can go and take a little look at. And the beach is just around there. There is a lighthouse there as well, but I think the tide is out right now, so we'll be able to walk over to the lighthouse. Let's go and have a little nosy around. First of all, I think we'll walk up this way because Liverpool city centre, you can see the docks just there across the River Mersey and further up this way is Liverpool city centre. There in the distance, you can see Liverpool. You can see the Liver Buildings. There's the Radio City Tower. Look at it, it's turned out so nice. Like this morning, I was lying in bed at about six o'clock and it was absolutely pouring down. But the sun has come out this afternoon. It's about, actually, I don't even know if it is the afternoon yet. It's about half 11. Such a nice day. This is a really nice beach. mussel shells on the beach. Right, we're going to wander back up this way to the fort, to the lighthouse. There is so much beach, like all around the Wirral, like the little peninsula of the Wirral. It seems really weird calling it the Wirral because wherever I'm from we call it over the water because I live on that side of the water <laughs> across the River Mersey so we call it over the water. But yeah, beaches all, all the way around the Wirral. It's so nice. I've never been here before. I don't live that far, but I've never been here before and it's nicer than I thought, to be honest. As we walk around here, this is back where the fort is in the lighthouse. We're gonna head that way. There's quite a few like little jellyfish as we walk along the beach. That's a big one. There's an amusement park up there or some sort of that blue building. Go and check it out after the fort and the lighthouse. is just a cafe we've just been to ask yeah you can't get actually through into the fort which is a shame i don't know whether they open it up on special days or something maybe they do but it's just a cafe today so right by where the lighthouse is there's this information here so high tide low tide what time is it now it is oh 12 12.20 so it's more or less low tide warning strong currents always swim between the red and yellow flags the lifeguard you over there in case you need it
over there. I thought oh, I couldn't climb over these rocks, but they're a bit seaweedy. <laughs> I'll walk around the beach instead. But yeah, here's the fort from the back. It's such a shame we can't go inside. Like this, encouraging people to clean up the beach. You can see there across this little lake, Adventureland it's called. A little pirate ship swinging thing, swinging ship. I've heard loads of kids saying that they're going over there. I think as well that they put, um, I think they do things in here, like they put like a big inflatable in here sometimes, maybe. You know one of those like jumping, that you jump along and try not to fall in the water. So the beach, so just off the beach, this is where that little lake thing is, and then there's like a few little eateries, Prezzo, Burger King, like the Dunkin' Donuts there as well. There's a travel lodge there as well, if you fancy staying here. Right on the beach. So Marine Lakes where we've just been this theatre and bowling. Fort Perch Rock Lighthouse, we've just been there. Some public toilets. The model model boating lake. We'll have to go and check that out. I'm gonna leave that behind and have a little walk along this promenade. It's such a wide promenade, it's really nice. I was wrong, it wasn't at Dunkin' Donuts, it's a cafe cream that was on the corner before. I've just walked around the other side of Marine Lake. So here is New Palace and Adventureland Family Entertainment Centre. It's still the summer holidays, just by the very end of the summer holidays, so lots of kids here enjoying their little ta their time off before they go back to school. Temporary, like that is only there in the summer maybe. The arcade that's next to it that's there all the time. The kids are having a blast in there though. You see that big container ship there coming in? Going to the docks. Lots of the places on the front, like the arcades and things obviously, only take cash. I think there may be, there's only one cash machine in the whole new Brighton possibly at Morrison's. There is a huge queue to get cash out. Well, I cannot find this model boat lake anywhere. I don't know where it is. I'm in Morrison's car park now. <laughs> Look at this, I don't quite know what's going on, but I've driven a little bit away. Like you can see the shops there. In this field here, there's like balls and there's stalls and things. It's like a little festival. Should we go and have a little look? Just pull over here on the front. This is all free parking, which is really good. You can't put vans here between 8pm and 8am so you can't park up the night with my van but park here for the day well look at this slush store just slush.com got every flavour slush you could ever want Oh, 
I love these inflatables. I love going through them. Oh, you can get glitter, hair braids and things. Oh, it's like a little mini festival. I love it. Well, there you go. That is me, Brian. I really can't believe I've never been here before. It's really nice. I'm going to put a pin in this somewhere to come on nice days. Like when I've got kids and things. It's really nice. That's one of Liverpool's beaches. I'll definitely go and check out all of the other ones. I think I've probably been to all the other ones. This is maybe the only one I haven't been to before. It's nice here.